Hopefully you watched our last few videos on Jacksonville, Illinois, a true Hallmark town. If you didn't, we'll have those linked in the description box. But to sum it up for you, Jacksonville has everything from genuinely nice people to the most adorable boutiques and their very own real life cheers. It's called KJB's. It's a little bar that we've had for 15 years. My, um, actually my boyfriend Kelly Brockhouse owns the bar. From the time we arrived in Jacksonville, everyone was telling us that they have the best burritos in Illinois. Well, I hope we live up to that best burrito <laughs> in Illinois. So we, um, so before when the bar first opened, they used to have steak nights here and we had a chef that, well, Kelly had a chef that would work in, he, they would do steak nights, it was Friday night and then they quit doing that and then um, COVID happened and we were a bar, we got shut down and then we decided we need to do something and when Kelly and I first started dating, we said five year plan, we're gonna reopen the kitchen. So COVID happened and we're like, well, no longer five years, let's do it. It's been three years. So we spent our time in March cooking burritos, trying to get it right. And so then now this is where we're at. So we were able to reopen up and serve food and keep KJB's, I guess, alive. They hit the ground running with these burritos on June 5th and Jacksonville fell in love immediately. We were so excited to get our burrito on, but Kelly wanted to start us with some chips and salsa. We have the North of Hell, and that <laughs> is, of course, hot. And then we um, add pineapple to it, so I like to tell people to know, because I know some people have pineapple allergies. Uh, but so we do that so we get a spicy, but yet a sweet mm -hmm. taste at the same time. But these two we make homemade, and this is Kelly's mom's salsa recipe from when he was growing up. Oh, and he's actually from Chicago, so I always tell people it's kind of like a jardinara. So if you're familiar uh -huh. with the jardinara, because it's just like a chunkier vegetable yes. yeah, salsa. So these are our two homemade, and then we, of course we have the medium and a verde okay. as well. Ellen's salsa has a fresh and mild flavor, which we loved but the North of Hell kind of stole the show for us. It has that same freshness, but with that added kick. So it was delicious on those salty chips. Then she brought out something very interesting, something we've never had before, smoked pickles. Oh, where are they really? I picked, thought they'd be hot. Does it really change the taste? Like in a good way? Cheers. He's got me a Dave Matthews album on the way. That is very strange. Yeah. You can get like that. Yeah. Somehow I feel like that's exactly what you would expect it to taste like. Yeah. <laughs> but then somehow I'm still surprised that it tastes like that. That's what I'm thinking. It tastes yeah. like a smoked pickle. <laughs> Imagine that, ladies and gentlemen. The ordering process for the burritos is pretty simple. Pick your style. We went with a regular burrito, which was a pretty massive size. Then pick your meat. Joni B went for the beef, and I had the chicken. Next is the fun part. Fill that burrito with all the fillings your heart desires. We had the grilled veggies, rice, beans, cheese, and I had the delicious chipotle sour cream. Highly recommend. To top it off, choose your salsa. We went with a mix and match of the Ellen's and the Verde, which tasted incredible, but honestly, I don't really think you could go wrong with any combination. Then to cap off our meal, we did a shot. If you followed us since our Viking cruise days, then you know somehow this has become a thing for us. This shot was a little different though. So Kelly, is it just straight down? Yep, just straight up. Straight up. Yep, so it's um, liquor 43, which is like a nutty kind of liqueur, and then just the heavy cream on the top. It'll set you off. Okay. Okay. Yeah. It'll set us off. Okay. It'll set you off. Okay. It's dessert. Cheers. Mm -hmm. Oh, that wasn't bad. Oh, wow. That was actually pretty good. That was so good. It was a dessert shot. You needed your dessert, right? Okay. That was so much better than I was expecting. <laughs> you were scared. I'm not giving you tequila. <laughs> 
KJB's has such a fun and hometown atmosphere, and they offer things that other spots in Jacksonville don't. I would say we're the only bar in town that actually has games. We have, we do bags. When you go out and check out the patio, we expanded our beer garden um, so that we would have more room outside. People come and play bags. We have a whole thing of games over there, and we'll have Mrs. Pac-Man, our pinball machine, of course, and darts, and we got the ring on the wall game, but that's why a lot of people like to come because it's just a really quiet, chill bar. There's not a lot going on here, but and then they like to come, like I said, and play the games. So, yeah. Pretty much. <laughs> so it's kind of like Jacksonville's Cheers? Yeah, kind of. Yes, exactly. We are. We know your name. So, yeah. Thank you so much to Kelly and everyone at KJB's for making our night so wonderful. When we pop back into Jacksonville, we will definitely be back. And thank you to the Jacksonville Area Convention and Visitors Bureau for connecting us with KJB's. Jacksonville is just the best, y'all. And to finish off this video, please enjoy us being classic Joni and Jenny over dramatic and having a great time as usual playing Miss Pac-Man and pinball. If you want to see more videos like this, just subscribe. It doesn't cost you nothing to hit that button, y'all. You want to go first? Yeah. You go first. What the heck? Where'd you freaking go? Oh, there you are. Oops. Oh, God. Holy. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh oh, there we go. Okay. Holy guacamole, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> oh, shoot. Where am I going? <laughs> oh, no. You already had a bubble. Oh, golly. <laughs> Oh, you already ate another bubble. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Why are they alive? What's happening? Okay, there we go. Oh, God. Oh, hello. Uh, well, you just like go for it. Oh, there you got another one. Uh, oh. I don't know where I am. Oh, good thing. Oh, oh, sh good oh schnitzel. Yeah. In the biscuit. Oh. Why are you running away from me? What the heck am I doing? Get it, get it. Ah. Oh, good job. Oh god, oh god, oh no, 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 Oh, good, you're gonna go to level two. Oh, there's more levels? Oh, jeez. Ready? Oh, shoot, I ate a bubble when I wasn't ready. All right, thank you. Oh, okay. get strawberry, get the strawberry. Why do I want strawberry? Oh, oh, good, 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 good. Strawberry is money. Oh, I don't know where I'm going. Uh, you just I'm just eating all the little bubbles. Yeah, but then you're gonna run out of oh, the strawberry. There you go. Uh. <laughs> oh, there you go. Oh, oh sh <laughs> You're good. Oh, God. Where'd you go? Um, Did you order your balls? Three balls per foot. Oh. Good job. Okay, we're out of here. Ten million. Tell me how many points they got. Yeah, nice. 
I should get one more bowl. Was it balls or a plate? Nine. 